So, what about the opening tracks? An opening track is a quite important track, a special track on each album, every band actually. Because listening on the first track on the album is actually, or maybe, what is the album about? You know, is it the definition of the album? So this is the point I'm going to show you with the Queen albums. Then the Play It, have a new series parallel to the, the game sessions, the game playlist, nearly finished, but I'm going to start with a new series. Um, I've already done Keep Us Ever Live by Queen and play the game from the game album. So what about the Queen opening tracks? It's very important for each album, except of the Live Magic album, The Greatest Hits 2 and The Greatest Hits 1, and Live at Wembley Stadium, I'm going to play every other Queen song on drums. So, we'll start off with the Queen album. It starts off with the Creepers of a Life, I've already played it on drums. You can hear, oh, interesting guitar solo. Put it on the record again. Very soft, very soft drums, but a lot of aggressive bass drums and, and then harmonies. And it is typical for the Queen album, very rock, very aggressive. A lot of guitars, um, which actually stands for the Queen album. Very, very um, important song for the album. And so you know when listening to Keep Us Ever Alive, all right, the next songs will be in the same pattern, maybe. If it is, of course. It, is, it fits totally in, in, with the Queen album, with the 1973 Queen album, the first Queen album. Although the single flopped and also the album wasn't um, the hit as well. But it actually when listening to the record, I love the Queen album. It's very, very aggressive. It has this certain typical Queen sound, you know, and the tinkering around the guitar solos and the bass drums and the bass solos. And it's very interesting to see what Brian, Roger and John are doing around Freddie's voice. Mm. And the same thing with Procession, the majestic opening track for the Queen 2 album. Queen 2 album, lots of harmonies, big open, uh, overductions, um, they got big guitars here, uh, the harmonies, you know, and then Procession starts on doom, 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 doom. Soft trumpet, but then typical Brian, the majestic guitar. <laughs> The harmonies you've got before as well, it's like a new rhapsody called The March of the Black Queen and the Fairy Feathers Masterstroke, big harmonies, stuff like that, then guitars over and over again, mm. typically for the Queen 2 album. Then there's the Shahadatik album which starts with Pride the Rock and it sounds like the first putting on a record that you think, are you really on a merry-go-round? And da -da 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 -da. So people are laughing and telling something like that, and then suddenly, the Brian May track, a lot of guitar solos, and <clears throat> very Brian May. <laughs> this track, of course, it's very sp special track for the Queen Charlotte. I was very a bit of more glam rock um, because it follows then it's Killer Queen, second track on the album, and you know. This is a typical line for the first three albums. Then there is a lot of anger. You know, you're listening to that on two legs. You know, because you have watched the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, you know, the difficulties between the Sheffield brothers and um, Queen, you know, there's a new manager, John Reed, and something like that. And then there's that on two legs, a lot of piano, it's typical for Freddie. And then um, many notes, suddenly guitars, just point quite simple and suddenly rapping now and um, also a bit Rhapsody-like. The album ends with William Rhapsody, second ending track William Rhapsody. Of course it was hard to find success on the day the races, but um, it starts off with power song, Tie Mother Down. Actually written in the early 70s by Brian on Tenerife and he Stayed there. Shuffle thing. So this is the old queen. To a day the rest of the old queen. Then there's use of the world, totally different album. It's very rough, very simple structure. You know, Queen and Mike Stone, totally different productions than the albums with the Rise of Baker. 
we will rock you. I'm not going to play it because on the original records there are no drums, as well as on the single version and on the album version. No drums, just the guitar. Then there's a chess album. Mm, chess album. Last attention with Worth of Must Bake on. I don't know, the chess album is a very special one. It starts off with Fantastic Mustafa, a kind of thing of co the, the, the colony orientalistic thing. Mm. Then suddenly a uh, kind of religious song typical for Freddy. Uh, it's interesting that he actually uh, put his childhood in, in the, the song Mustafa, very Arabic, Persian style, Iran, Arab, something like that. And then this next one is actually Let Me Entertain You, so it doesn't really fit. So you can hear for the first time, you hear that it's a totally different style. Alright, okay, so then there's something like Fun Upon it, very or the swelling, leaving home, maybe, very bright, very ballet kind of, uh, this by Brian. Then there's a Life Killers version, uh, of the Life Killers album, first live album, and I'm going to play the live version of Will Rock You, because this is the first track, Will Rock You Fast, a song just wrote for the audience, and no other album, um, except the Life Killers album, and no other studio album, and it starts with a very, very fast speed. So, and as I said, the game, play the game. First album, first new decade, yeah, in the 80s, with the Oberheimer synthesizer. I've already played it on drums. Then there's the soundtrack of Flash Gordon. Flash! It really fits into the 80s era, in the early 80s. It's very bass heavy, and then the rest of the album is actually. Just soundtrack with a lot of voices and strange sounds. And it's interesting, but uh, Flash Gordon album. What is, is a Flash Gordon album? I don't know. It's it isn't an album I would put on the record and would listen from the first song to the last note on the last song. So no, the last song, by the way, is uh, the Hero, another song by Queen. But Flash Steam, the first one, is actually the real or the only single in the UK. Mm. Wait, this one no, but Hot Space. Another album, uh, like Queen 2, where you can say the first track is actually the signal for the album. Procession, very majestic, big, big queen. <laughs> um, harmonies over and over again, and here you have strange drums on it, just actually uh, synthesizer and drum machines. Terrible, but the live version, it's very, very, very rough. <laughs> Um, but it's, the album stands for mainly the funk and disco version, and then there are songs like Las Palabras de Amor or Under Pressure, actually more and more final rock and the old Queen, but mainly it's about uh, synth era. So because Las Palabras de Amor and Under Pressure were the first songs, putting on the end of the album, but then it would last or would lead actually to the funk songs. Uh, Called it in 1982. Mm. It was a back chat yeah. or dance song. Then, after two years' pause, then the works album it starts off with the Radio Gaga, actually, a very mechanic song. There's a track on the album called Machines, Back to Your Months, which is actually not Back to Your Months, more, it's more machines like. Very metal. And then Roger wrote the first one, first track on the album Radio Gaga. Backing track, just a drum machine. Live, it's quite fantastic, but on the album, mm, a bit boring. Mm. Playing it on drums, everything's the same. Then there's a kind of magic album. The kind of magic album was different from the other album. It was half a song drink album, half an album by Queen. It starts off with a fantastic One Vision song, the, the first track by Queen, um, written by Queen since the Stone Cold Crazy thing from 1974. Well, one vision, and then a kind of magic, but then actually there are more and more ballets, like One Year Below, Pain is a Close of Pleasure, something like that, and something that's Give Me the Prize, like Kirk's theme, actually a special song, just a soundtrack actually for the Highlander movie. Mm, the rest of the UK, you also filmed 
that they kind of magically knew all the laws or directed them. I went to go. And then after three years pause the Miracle album, it starts off with Party. Very special song. Then there's the show the ship it flew in together. It's a typical sign which Queen used in the early days when having a look at the Queen 2 album. Thinking of the fairy palace monster which flew in into Nevermore and then to the March of the Plague Queen as well as the Charlotte Tech album with Tenement Files, sort of flip of the wrist to Lily of the Valley. The magic, the, the miracle then, I want it all, suddenly, heavy rock and roll, but puff party. It's too poppy. Yeah? The album is a bit of a mixture. Kind of hot space of influence. Yeah? A bit too soft. On the other hand, you've got something like Breakthrough, I went it all, or Scandal. And then, of course, there's a new window that's just heavy. The old queen, but you can hear the synthesizer on something like this. And you can hear as well the drum, da -dum, da -dum. drums, choirs, wonderful drama, epic. Yeah. Then there's uh, It's a Beautiful Day, another song I won't play on the drums because there are no drums. It's a Beautiful Day, very peaceful, very tranquil. You can look at the cover, the lake, the mountains, it's Switzerland, Montreux, of course, after Freddy has passed. but. The uh, original song was recorded in the game sessions. Yeah, but it wasn't released. Um, so, that was all. Thank you very much for the continuing support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and keep thumbs up. Bye.